Welcome to this session on trigonometry and today we are going to take up heights and distances. Now heights and distances will be uh, an area of application of trigonometry. For example, uh, you can uh, measure the height of a building, measure the height of a you know long tower or a tree or measure distance let's say uh, the distance between two banks of a river using the principles of trigonometry. This was the same principle, the same methods were used uh, uh, in calculating, let us say, uh, radius of the earth or let's say a distance between two cities and things like that. Uh, wider applications will be all of these. Now, this uh, heights and distances, the you will be seeing a lot of industrial applications as well. So, hence it is very important to understand the concepts of height and, heights and distances. So, in this, there are a few concepts which we will be discussing and then we will be taking up a problem and see how do we apply the concepts of trigonometry to solve such problems. So, so first concept is angle of elevation. Angle of elevation. Okay. So, what is angle of elevation? Now, I have drawn a, a representative diagram here. Let us say AB represents the ground. Okay, so you are on the ground and let us say BC is a tree. BC represents a tree. Okay, tree or tree or let's say a tower or a building. A building and whose height you want to measure. Okay, so let us say on the top, the top point of the tree or the tower is point C and this angle this angle alpha which is between the line joining the foot so this point is the foot of the tree foot on the ground on the same line on this line itself is it foot of foot of the let's say the tar on the line joining fair where you are standing okay and when you are watching the highest point on c highest point c the angle made is alpha now this angle is known as angle of elevation so let us say you your eye is at this this point and this is up this is up the line of sight is on the b point b okay now you start rotating this line let us say ab so that so that it now points to c right so you basically took this line a from so sorry ab from this point or along AB line to along AC line. So whatever the angle swept by that line is called angle of elevation. Okay. So now you understood angle of elevation. Similarly, there is another concept of angle of depression. Angle of depression. So what is angle of depression? Angle of depression is just nothing but from C, point C now let us say you are viewing point A. Okay. And let's say CD represented the parallel to the ground line. So how much CD has to rotate to coincide with CA? This line is called angle of depression. So if you see initially, the line of sight was like that and it was turn, 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 turn. And then finally, it is like that. So this angle swept is called angle of depression. So with these concepts only, you will be able to solve a lot of questions okay so let us let us try and see one of the problems how to solve heights and distances problems now here is one of the problems first example we will be taking in heights and distances it says a vertical flag staff flag staff stands on a horizontal plane okay from a point distance 150 feet from its foot from a point distance 150 feet from its foot the angle of elevation of its top is found to be 30 degrees. You have to find the height of the flagstaff, a typical height and distance problem. So let us uh, try to solve this problem. In any heights and distances problem, I would recommend draw a proper representative diagram. So let us say this represents, let us say this point is A and this point is B. Let us say AB represents the height of height of the flagstaff okay and let us represent oa and oa represents the horizontal ground now what do you do you just join ob okay and it is said that 
angle of elevation of its top so top is b obviously this point is the top and and the angle of elevation of this point is nothing but 30 degrees so it's given alpha is equal to 30 degrees okay angle of elevation of the top from this point oa and it is given that this is 150 feet away 150 feet away from the foot right okay so this is the diagram now you have to find out h now you'll simply apply the uh, trigonometric ratios and uh, you will be able to solve this problem so we clearly know this angle is 90 degrees isn't it so hence we can say in triangle oab oab ab upon oa is equal to tan 30 degrees isn't it now ab is h and oa we know is 150 feet 150 feet and for and from trigonometric ratio tables we know tan 30 degrees 1 by root 3 so in simply h will be equal to 150 into 1 by root 3 feet and this value is 150 into 1 point 1 by 1 1.73 feet which is approximately 86.6 feet so this is how a trigonometric height and distance problem can be solved so if you see uh, what is the practical application if you see you don't need to you know go to the top of the building to measure its height you can you can you just measure a uh, distance from the foot of uh, foot of the building and and you just uh, find out the angle of elevation of the top and with these two quantities you can find out uh, the height of the building